So first thing we're going to do is apply the salve. Take the lid off the salve jar, scoop, about so much. A small amount, just kind of smear it across, sort of backwards and forwards over where I expect uh, the uh, treatment area to be. For the plantar fascia, if you just rest the tool in your hand and have your index finger resting on top at the most concave section of uh, the tool in that dorsal concavity. You know, it's just a subtle dorsiflexion of the metatarsal just to take up that tension like so. We're going to do the feathering technique. So I'm literally just going to run backwards and forwards. I'm keeping the tool 90 degrees to the skin. If I have the tool just straight vertical, what will happen is I can end up grinding into the flesh here or just dragging it off and smoothing it across this way. You're not going to get the feedback. You need to have it at a 90 degree point along the band of the plantar fascia. Remembering, this is called feathering. <laughs> I'm just going to bring it up to the rounded edge and get a little more specific into the plantar fascia. So Des, can you feel that area in there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So right there, we can both feel it kind of flicks and grits. Here it's smooth. It's smooth all the way through there. Yep, like rice bubbles under glad wrap. Mm. It's, uh, it's probably the most accurate way to think about it. There's two areas. One's about here, one's around here. So what's going to happen is now I'm going to apply that five to eight kilograms of force. And what you'll feel, now you can feel I've got more pressure in there, Des. Mm -hmm. And Pain. rubbing it through there. Not really. I can feel the pressure on my finger, um, but uh, the tool is kind of just working through there. How about you, Des? <laughs> no, it's fine. But you can feel the, the grits and grinds under there and the fascial restrictions flicking through there. Now, it'll typically take around 30 to 40 seconds for those fascial irregularities to start releasing. Okay, now you'll start to see that hyperemic response coming through here, so that's what we're after. Now what I'm going to do is just go back to that feathering that I was doing. So that's what we're after, is that in signs of improvement in that time. And then I'm going to literally stretch and work it back. Now you pull the toes up. Great, relax. Pull the toes up. Relax. And say smooth as a baby's bottom, but no, maybe smooth as Desi's bottom. <laughs> so that's <no>, easy. <laughs> <laughs>